Hi everyone, it's Paul from Cupping Canada, and I'm here today to talk to you about hardnesses of silicone. So if you've looked at our silicone cups, you will see that there are three different hardnesses. And what hardness is, is a way of formulating silicone so that it's either softer or harder. Okay, and what that means is that the harder the silicone, the harder the formulation, the more it wants to bounce back when you deform it, it wants to bounce back to this position. Uh, if this shape is what it wants to do, as we crush it down and then create a seal on the skin, the amount of bounce back will give us, if it bounces back more towards the shape, you'll get a little bit more func uh, suction and more hopefully more function out of that. So if you're using the softer kind of cup, you'll see when you put it on someone, sometimes the top doesn't pop all the way up. That's because it's softer, so it doesn't have the strength to do that. Now, there, there's a method here to the madness. With these soft cups, they're really easy to squeeze. So if you're using a technique like flash cupping or fast cupping, where you're taking the cup on and off and really all you ever want is light suction anyway, then these are ideal for it because you're not gonna fatigue yourself by squeezing over and over and over again. And you're only gonna get light suction anyway. I mean, you still have to, you have the capability of light, medium, or strong suction. But in this case, when we only want light suction, it's really easy to create over and over again. Whereas if you're going to pick out these ones, this harder style of cup, you're going to use it in a place where you want stronger suction. So you're going to take the effort to squish this down into its flattest uh, deformity and uh, use it to hopefully get the strongest suction that we can out of a silicone cup. Now, these could be used for static purposes. They can, with a little less suction applied, again, light, medium, and then strong suction. They can be used for dynamic but really, the softer ones work for dynamic a little bit better because you want less suction so you can move the cup easily enough. So depending on the job that you're wanting to do, uh, you may want a harder or softer set. Now, that's not to say that you can't just throw them all in a bin like I do and use whatever one that you pick out, but sometimes you get picky. Oh, I just want light suction, so I'm gonna grab one with a red label. Oh, I want the static and I really want a lot of suction because I'm creating some tissue change. I'm trying to provoke a response from the tissue. I'm gonna go with one of the white ones. But a lot of the times you just kinda of want the best of both worlds, right? So that's why we have one in the middle, which is the medium hardness. Uh, pretty easy to squeeze each time. You're not gonna fatigue out too badly. Um, and also it'll give you a lot of suction because uh, it is fairly hard to depress. Um, and it does try and bounce back as much as possible. You'll still get more suction out of the uh, harder cups, but really do you need it? I don't know, maybe in some cases. So that's our introduction to uh, the three types of sil silicone hardnesses, the soft, medium, and hard. And I hope you learned something today. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.